Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here with the glider that we built yesterday using the Glowforge. My friends, I got it outside. We added a little clay to the front end. Let's do a test flight and see what we get. All right, friends, let's take a quick look. You can see the dihedral angle stayed fine. Everything looks the way it was designed, and now we can give it a test. Even though there was no aerodynamic characteristics baked into it, let's see what kind of flights we can get. This is what the launcher from White Box Learning looks like. It's just got a rubber band about six inches long. We added that little hook so that our glider can hook in. It's like a catch you'd find on a carrier. And then we also added this hook in the back so that we can pull. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have way too much lift. Let's see how it goes. Not too bad. A quick peek at it in slow motion. Uh, there is a lot of work that I can do to improve this, but it's kind of fun to see where version one got us. All right, friends. Well, unfortunately, I suffered a catastrophic rubber band failure, but I will work on getting some more flights. At least you've seen it fly once. You know it's capable. Uh, we really need to adjust the weight to get the right lift and characteristics that we want. And I'd love to see you guys, when you're out designing, come up with a way to modify this. Maybe attach it with rubber bands or something so you can slide it forward, back, right, or left to get the exact right location for the amount of lift that you want for your aircraft. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.